In 1977, NASA launched the Voyager spacecraft to explore the outer solar system. Decades later, both probes crossed its farthest boundary, and what they found stunned scientists. As they entered interstellar space, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 detected a sudden rise in temperature, up to 50,000 Kelvin, a searing plasma region marking the very edge of the sun's influence. In this video, we'll explore what Voyager discovered at that boundary, what causes this so-called wall of fire, and how it reshapes our understanding of the solar system's frontier and the space beyond. Let's get started. When Voyager 1 and 2 left Earth, their mission was to study the outer planets. After completing that goal, both continued outward, heading for the unknown region where the sun's influence ends. As they traveled, the spacecraft measured a steady weakening of the solar wind, the constant stream of charged particles flowing from the sun. Scientists had long theorized that at some extreme distance, this flow would collide with the interstellar medium, the thin gas and dust that fills the galaxy, forming a boundary called the heliopause. In 2012, Voyager 1 became the first probe to cross it. Voyager 2 followed in 2018, confirming the earlier findings. At the crossing, both spacecraft recorded something extraordinary, an abrupt spike in plasma temperature ranging from 30,000 to 50,000 Kelvin, roughly 54,000 to 90,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This region isn't a solid wall, but a superheated transitional layer, where the outward moving solar wind is compressed by the opposing pressure of interstellar plasma. The collision heats the particles to extreme energies, producing what scientists poetically call a wall of fire. Despite the intensity, the voyagers were never in danger. The plasma there is incredibly sparse, fewer than one particle per cubic centimeter, meaning almost no heat transfer occurs. The spacecraft simply glided through this turbulent frontier, gathering the first direct evidence of the sun's outermost boundary. Their data confirmed that the edge of our solar system isn't a silent void. It's an active, energetic region shaped by pressure, plasma motion, and magnetic fields. A cosmic frontier that separates the familiar realm of the sun from the interstellar sea beyond. The Voyager's crossing turned a theoretical idea, the heliosphere's outer limit, into measurable reality. It revealed that the sun's magnetic bubble extends far beyond the planets and behaves more dynamically than expected. The heliosphere acts as a protective shield, deflecting much of the galaxy's cosmic radiation. At its edge, where the solar wind slows and meets the interstellar medium, immense compression and heating occur. NASA compares this to a bow wave formed by a ship cutting through water, a buildup of pressure at the leading edge of motion. The recorded 30,000 to 50,000 K plasma marks this turbulent interface. It's not fire in the traditional sense, but charged particles energized by the collision between two cosmic winds, the solar and the interstellar. Another striking finding was the different crossing distances. Voyager 1 passed the heliopause at 121 astronomical units, Voyager 2 at 119 astronomical units. This small difference confirmed that the heliosphere isn't static. It expands and contracts with the sun's activity cycle, stretching outward when the sun is active and shrinking when it's quiet. Even more intriguing were the magnetic field measurements. Scientists once believed the magnetic field inside the heliosphere would point in a very different direction than the one outside it. Instead, both voyagers found the two fields nearly parallel, suggesting a smoother transition between the solar and galactic magnetic environments than models predicted. These results imply that the boundary between the sun's influence and interstellar space is not a sharp edge but a gradual blending zone where magnetic fields intertwine and energy flows continuously between the two regions. The data also helped refine how cosmic rays, high energy particles from outside the solar system, penetrate our heliosphere. 
it acts like a semi-permeable barrier. Most cosmic rays are deflected, but some seep through depending on solar activity. This directly affects the radiation environment throughout the solar system, including around Earth and future human missions to deep space. In short, Voyager's discoveries showed that our solar system's edge isn't fixed or calm. It's a living, shifting boundary shaped by the sun's heartbeat and the galaxy's invisible currents. Voyager's journey beyond the heliopause marked humanity's first step into interstellar space, not through observation, but through direct presence. Understanding this region helps scientists model how our solar system interacts with the galaxy and how the heliosphere protects us from cosmic radiation. By learning how this natural shield expands and contracts, researchers can better forecast space weather effects, a crucial factor for spacecraft systems and astronaut safety on long missions. The findings also extend far beyond our own system. Every star generates a heliosphere, or astrosphere, that influences nearby planets. The sun's measured boundary now serves as a template for studying how other stars shield their planetary systems from radiation. This knowledge will help assess which exoplanets might be capable of supporting life. Both Voyager probes continue to transmit faint data. NASA's engineers manage their dwindling power carefully, shutting down non-essential instruments to extend their lifetimes. Each signal that reaches Earth provides new information about plasma density, magnetic strength, and cosmic rays in interstellar space, regions never before sampled. Eventually, their power will run out, likely by the 2030s, and their voices will fade into silence. But the Voyagers will keep traveling, carrying the golden records, etched with images and sounds from Earth, adrift between the stars for billions of years, Future missions aim to continue where Voyager leaves off. NASA's proposed interstellar probe would travel three times farther, equipped with modern sensors capable of mapping the heliosphere's full structure and exploring the interstellar medium in detail. Such missions could reveal whether the wall Voyager crossed is unique to our Sun or a universal feature surrounding stars throughout the Milky Way. Voyager's discovery revealed that the edge of our solar system isn't silent. It's a superheated frontier alive with plasma and motion. Even after nearly 50 years, the spacecraft continued to expand humanity's reach into interstellar space. At the solar system's edge, Voyager found not emptiness, but the pulse of a living sun.